What's up guys, this is Heist, and we're here at the Rocky Mountain Train Show today. It's a wonderful show, there's a ton of different vendors, there's a ton of different layouts, a lot of killer models and fun things, but today we're getting to have a lot of fun at the Pike Masters Model Railroad, which is a Fremo module setup. It's the biggest model railroad I've ever gotten to run on, I guess? Thinking about it? It's over 100 feet of mainline, and today we're getting to play with this. This is the new Broadway Limited Paragon 4 GS4. I know that I always say that I don't have a favorite steam locomotive, don't have a favorite locomotive. If I said that I had a favorite, one of the three or two of the three of my other children between 491, 346, and 20 would kill me. So I can't have a favorite, but we will qualify with standard gauge. And uh, the 40 for 49 is the first engine I got to see. Forty-four, forty-nine. That was the one that was used on on, on the Freedom Train. On the Freedom Train. Yeah. Cool. I think they had more than one. Well, I I think I can see the engine going down there. She's a sweetheart, and it's a beautiful model. So uh, we're gonna get to run around on the modules, have a good time here, and enjoy the fun of model rariting today. So uh, it looks like some track repairs going on, and we'll be uh, moving shortly here. Lita Shell, the show. Good start. It is a bit of a slapstick bit. They got Leighton's letting me borrow some of his daylight cars, and that bag card does not want to play nice, but brass models, man. Yeah, that, that couple's right about to bypass. That's fine. It was worse earlier. I don't remember which function it is to turn on the Mars light. Just keep hitting buttons, it's yeah. never gone wrong for anyone. So for full disclosure, this isn't a sponsored video, but Broadway Limited did send me the GS4, the 4449 in its modern excursion configuration, painted up in daylight colors. They, they sent it my way and hoped that I'd include it in a video. Uh, and it is absolutely incredible. It's one of the coolest models I've ever seen of a GS4. I used to have one of the cheap ones as a kid from another manufacturer, and I always wanted one that was a little bit more accurate, had a bit more details to it, and to get this GS4 from Broadway Limited has been just a treat. As well, the little features that it has, like the synchronized chuffing smoke, all that sort of fun stuff, and the sounds that are correct to the locomotive are just absolutely exquisite. I hit the bell for the first time and it just, it's 40 for 49's bell. It just sounds correct and that was a huge surprise and joy for me because I'm used to things not quite being quite right. So the detail work that they did on this thing is absolutely fantastic. One thing to note during the video as well is that I turned the smoke off. We had some layout challenges as you do sometimes with quite a large setup like this. Uh, and one of the troubleshooting steps was, hey, let's turn off anything that's, uh, you know, a little extra or might be drawing any extra current. So we turned off the smoke because it does add a little bit more draw as part of troubleshooting. Uh, I turned it on uh, later, but the smoke fluid started getting low and I didn't have any extra. And it's definitely a word of caution to not run the smoke heater element without smoke fluid in it so if you have locomotives like that make sure you shut it off if you need to I gotta say seeing seeing an entire streak of red and orange even if it's only half the length it's supposed to be is pretty good something's in the dirt that's fine the hand of God came down and re-railed it. No, it didn't. And look, we're running on our module, as seen on the channel. Go for it. I gotta, oh. <laughs> I caught the moment. There it is. Hey, at least it wasn't the drama. Yeah. I mean, we're not in 
<laughs> right. That's just on brand. I got high greens all the way. Goodness, love that. It was also really fun to get to run this train on modules that we built together as seen in other videos on the channel as a part of the Pike Masters Club. It's a freemo club, so you build modules to a standard and then everyone brings theirs to the shows and makes one really big layout. And some of the modules uh, from the other members are just absolutely gorgeous. Working signals, great scenery, working grade crossings. It's a ton of fun to get to run on something like this. Seeing a long train on an even longer layout was really cool and a great way to operate something in HO scale. I don't know if a daylight says Alamosa. I don't know what it says. Sacramento. 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 San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah. San Francisco. San Francisco. Two o'clock. The goal. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Oakland Mullen, Oakland Mullen, Oakland Mullen. The flashers, so good. Well, I'm reconnecting to the network, so hopefully it's fine. I don't have control over the locomotive at the moment, so. Hey! <laughs> it wasn't. We tried. Two days. Yeah, it was more than two days. We got a lot of it done in a day. Last call Help, help. Help, help, help. It's an unmanned train. One of you's in the dirt. I guess I'll pull it off if I have to. I haven't had connection for about five minutes now. Yeah. That would be helpful. <laughs> Worst case, I will grab it. It's magic, look. The magic of keep alive. I lost control to, uh, I lost Wi-Fi, so it just kept going. Yes, we would like that. You can use it. That would be great. You are stationary now, so. Okay. There's a lot of telephone poles there. Sure, yeah. That's good by me. I would hate to knock over any scenery or anything. And then we will. 
There we are. Thank you. Ah, that one. I was like, where is that? Thank you. There we go. I also will say that most of the cars that are in the consist are also Broadway limited cars, so the colors match the locomotive perfectly, and it makes a really, really beautiful consist. I ended up finding some for a pretty good deal at the show, and uh, I couldn't say no, because seeing the red and orange streak is just absolutely wonderful. I also did borrow several cars from Leighton, uh, who has a Sunbeam set that he's figured out in HO scale as well. So, very cool to see, and uh, hopefully I can get a whole set of Coast Daylight cars one of these on days down the road cool. here. Uh, it's one of my favorite train sets, so a lot of fun to play with in HO scale. Also, the way that the Mars light looks recorded with the GoPro is not quite right. There's some weird frame rate synchronization issue with the effect itself. It looks great in person, but uh, the camera eye and the way that it records data uh, makes it look a little strange. But trust me, it looks great in person. I've got to throw a switch. Got a high green. I built that. All right, I've only got like 10 feet of water hatch. Let's not mess it up here. Dunk. I, I have a feeling that it probably was not supposed to fill up a GS, but you know, we didn't get any water in it yesterday, so... <laughs> you guys all ready for me to sneak through? Yeah. All right. I guess we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. I guess I can leave it lined for the right, because he's behind me. <clears throat> Yeah, Broadway sent it to me. <laughs> I bought most of the cars at the show here because I'm a glutton. But uh, yeah, Broadway sent me the GS4, so. Hey guys. Hi, Ryan. 
Oh. I was like, what are you pointing at? Oh, yeah. I think you're supposed to be paying attention to that. That what? That one. It's all right, I'm just pulling a Doyle. I got a flashing yellow. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's another train up there, so we'll, we'll hold in the hole here. Flashing yellow. I got flash and yellow here. So, and red over red over there, so I'll wait for you in the clear here. I'm sure dispatch will talk you by the red so you can make your move. Yeah, we're just blocking the crossing, doing our civic duty. Man, I'm trying to get to work. All right, come past you on the main. Here we go. These desert modules are gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, they're yours? Yeah. <laughs> they're beautiful. A nice little scrub brush and everything going on. Then the, the color is just right. Arizona Rock and Minerals is my friend. There you go. Oh, cool. Why is it always Leighton's cars that have coupler problems? It's his first. It is the Leighton first. You know, the funny thing was that Leighton went home yesterday for a bit during the show, and the entire time Leighton was gone, nothing worked, and he came back and everything worked. It was obnoxious. Yeah, I guess it's an opposite curse for model trains, because he's actually pretty good with them. <laughs> to be fair, Justin's about to be uh, a ram rod. <laughs>
the show this year was so much fun getting to play model trains with a lot of great friends getting to go around and see all the different vendors and talk to some of the manufacturers uh, i even gave a talk or two and played a little guitar for the folks and some of that's on the high studio channel if you're interested but it was a great time and i really really enjoyed getting to play with this gs4 at the pike masters so again a huge thank you to broadway limited for sending it over it really is an exquisite model Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. We'll catch you all next time. We're gonna get one of those too, right? From this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Photo run by. Photo run by.